What's going on, everybody? Today we're going to talk Slim Meaty Murata. Had this knife now for quite a while. Just get so busy around here sometimes. It's get really distracted from what I'm doing from day to day sometimes on newer knives and stuff. But anyway, either way, this is the full review of this knife. Um, let me first say that all the guys corrected me. This is on bearings. So that was something that I wasn't aware of last time. I knew that the Murata hadn't moved into bearings yet. But yeah, it has. So, and we verified that. So, so close up. Got your full DLC blade. Bronze anodized. Very, very nice. So let's get a quick comparison of strictly only USA made knives because otherwise Greg would be totally pissed if we put anything other than American made knives in here with it. So there's the PM2 Strider SNG and Chris Reeve Umazon. So we can see right there that we're pretty much talking about all the knives and pretty much the same size zone for the most part like i said yeah we're kind of more or less talking about within the right around give or take the eight inch range so let's move these guys over here and let's Get a quick weight here on it. Okay, so 121 grams for you guys that like the grams. And about four and a quarter ounces. Not bad for EDC knife. Overall, so yeah, everything's held up very nice. Feels great in the hand, very comfortable, no sharp edges or anything. Everything is very well smoothed out, chamfered, and so on and so forth. The pattern's pretty cool. I do enjoy the things that Monkey Edge does. The thing I will say that there's your lock up right there. We don't have any movement at all, up or down or side to side or anything like that. The, the access to the lock bar could be a little bit better. There's a little bit machined out there, but it can be a little, I mean, because it's stiff too. So it can be a little on the hard side, but you know what? You're not going to accidentally deploy it. So I guess that's really all that matters. Totally failed on that deployment, but... Yeah, other than that, really enjoyed this knife. Just just seemed to have forgot to get around to actually reviewing it, but Edge is held up. I have used it quite a few times. You can see, stabbed it into some wood for pictures and all that fun stuff. So, and like I said, the Edge is held up. It's got a very good heat treat, obviously. Um, they do a pretty good job with their knives, I will say that. So, action is pretty good. I can't complain either way, really, as far as that goes at all. It's just, like I said, worked out good. I really was concerned about this pocket clip. You can see it's not, like, fully down on the handle. Um, I think there's some magic in it, I'll say, because my work pants are fairly thin. And... It went in and out of pocket so easy. I'm like, geez, I hope I don't lose it. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, I was really kind of concerned about that. But I never once did it ever fall out of my pocket. So I was kind of concerned about it. But I carried it a lot. And never once, you know, in and out of my truck m multiple times a day. I mean, and I'm always, it's always at weird angles. I'm working all day. And physically working all day I'm not this is no out of couch potato <laughs> review channel so and it's never once fallen on my pocket so that 
maybe there's a little magic there. I'm not sure with that pocket clip, but it, it definitely will feel, it definitely will retain better in a thicker pair of pants like jeans. It will definitely retain better. But so there you guys go. That is the Slim Midi Marotta by Medford Tool Knife and Tool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time on the next video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit the like button. It always helps the channel out and gives you good luck. Have a great day, guys. Bye.